the Wii. It's a good console. For those people that's been wondering where I've been at on my PS3, I've been gaming on my Wii. Um, yeah. Well, I've been gaming on my Wii recently, mainly because of uh, what I've recently done to the Wii. I've said before that I've hacked the Wii before, you know, I've always, I've had a hacked Wii for a while now, but I went ahead and did a very needed update for, uh, for my hacked Wii. So it's more convenient and a lot easier for me and for everyone else. Okay, first and foremost, I do not support piracy. <laughs> I don't support piracy, okay? Uh, have I pirated before? Yes. Do I pirate shit occasionally? Yeah. But overall, developers, they need these ga they need your money to produce even more games. They deserve it, especially if they're very good games. Support developers. Support gaming. Alright. But, um, if you ever want to make backups of your games and be able to play them, whether it be your 360 or your Wii, because right now you can't do anything as far as with the PlayStation, um, there's several ways that you can do it. But I'm going to go ahead and put a link in the description of how, that you, how you can hack your Wii in order to uh, play, um, you know, emulators and other homebrew applications, and uh, so you can play your backup Wii games. Um, the way I'm, I'm gonna put three separate links uh, in the description. Uh, two of the links are gonna show you pretty much, uh, or all three of the links will show you how to hack your Wii. Um, but the third link is going to show you how to hack it and um, install something called a USB loader, which is exactly what I'm about to show y'all here in a second, how it looks, how it works, and just how convenient it is and how badass it is uh, for your Wii. Um, don't worry about any other tutorials about modding or hacking your Wii, because this is definitely the best one to go to soft mod. Uh, your Wii without a doubt um, It's foolproof. You can go ahead and uh, every model Wii can be hacked so uh, All the way up from whatever the original was to 4.2. I believe that's what it is the links in the description will Be able to help you out um, There is one thing though, and it's one thing that I found out if you have uh, the latest model of the Wii it has a certain chip in it I forgot what the chip was but it won't be able uh, that your Wii won't be able to read um, DV, uh, blank mediums, blank DVDRs. In order to get your Wii to uh, to look like what I'm about to show you with the whole menu and everything, uh, using the homebrew um, application USB loader, uh, you're gonna need to purchase a uh, portable hard drive. Uh, preferred one is uh, the recommended one is uh, Rec Western Digital, any Western Digital drive. There's other ones that you can use, but in the uh, in the post and the um, link that's up there, they actually talk about the other ones that you can possibly use. Or if you don't want to do that, you can actually just use an internal hard drive that you have that you might have laying around, and that's actually what I did. I had an extra internal hard drive, 200 gigs. And all I did was buy an enclosure case. So pretty much I put, I bought this case. This case was only what, uh, 15 bucks. And basically you put the hard drive, you put your internal hard drive in this case and it turns it into an external hard drive. And I uh, bought off of Amazon.com by the way. You can also buy them at Best Buy. But the ones at Best Buy, I believe they're um, the Dynex brand and they sell for like 60 bucks. It's ridiculous. But, um, but yeah, it basically turns your internal into an external hard drive and it hooks up to your Wii or your computer uh, through a USB port. And uh, so, yeah, that's pretty cool. So if you have an extra drive that's hanging around, you know, you can spend a few more bucks and boom, you already got your whole setup. Um, in, in the link, they pretty much handle everything. 
you know I was gonna go ahead and do a whole video of me doing it but it's already done pretty much to perfection and it's laid out for you perfectly I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of show you how it looks and everything there's even videos of each step as they do it so I mean it's the tutorial is pretty much already done for you just gotta go to the links and pretty much walk yourself through it but all right here we go okay all right when you first turn on your Wii, you know, it's going to look uh, the same as it, you know, usually does and everything. Uh, with all the channels on, you know, the dash and all that stuff and the Wii menu. But um, after you do the uh, the hat that's in the link, you're going to see the homebrew channel. And pretty much this is where all your homebrew uh, applications for anything that you're going to be doing uh, will be up here. Such as the USB loader. And then booyah go ahead you have your list of applications and all these um applications will be on your um sd card now all you would do is hit on usb loader and hit load and right now it's going to access the hard drive that you have hooked up to your wii when you do that that's when you're going to be entered into your uh to your games that you have on your um, hard drive pretty much and uh, as you can see it has uh, everything here you can actually download the um, the box arts and the uh, actual CD arts right from the Wii you don't need to hook it up to your computer and all that stuff as long as you have access to the internet you can download it right from your Wii and uh, if I wanted to play a game, all I would do is click on one, and then, as you can see, the music starts up, uh, and I would just click on the disc, and boom, the game would start up. And you can set things like favorites and stuff. You can see how big the game is, the play, you know, how many times you've played it, um, and you, can, you know, this is where you set your favorites pretty much. Like, okay, this game, five star game, and then up here at the top, you have your different categories, and then. Any game that I rated five stars would be right in here, or any stars at all, you know. And they also have different ways that you can look at it, such as putting it in a list view, so you can see uh, all your games in a list view, such as this. And uh, besides this one, I actually like this one the best. It shows them nice and big, and uh, the 3D box art. But they also have this one, kind of like a carousel, where it just kind of goes round and round. It's pretty sweet. Um, and down here you can access different options. You can actually uh, turn off your Wii, look at your SD card, go back to the homebrew channel. You can go back to the Wii menu. Uh, but in here where the settings are, you can actually change your theme. And right now you're actually hearing uh, this beat that I put up there myself. When you initially put this up here, you'll have like a, uh, an instrumental, like a Nintendo instrumental that, that automatically comes with it. But you can actually modify it and change it uh, by adding songs that you want in there yourself. Like as you can see, I put up, I put this in here. You can change it, and boom, and there you go. Automatically change the song. And also, let's see, you can change the uh, the themes. So you know, I only downloaded a few, but. Go to with the Zelda Twilight theme. Yeah. And immediately changes everything up. Shit. Boom. You know, it's it's pretty damn sweet. Any new games that you add to your um uh, drive will be labeled as new. You can actually change that if you want, and everything will be comprised to your uh, theme, however you got it set up. But uh just to show you, um let's say I wanted to play um Super Mario Brothers. I would just hit it and then boom. Game starts up. Just like that. Nice, easy, smooth, quick. It's the shit. But, uh, you know, that's pretty much it, y'all. This is uh, how it's set up and everything. When you hack it using the USB loader. The other two links will show you how to hack it with different firmwares. Um, but they'll mainly be directing you towards 
uh, backing up your games onto a disc. But uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it, y'all. You can go back out to the menu from here and everything just like you were playing an actual Wii game. But uh, alright, y'all, support the, vet, the devs. This is some cool shit hacking your Wii. I will holler at y'all later. Peace out.